Hi, Shane here. You're watching Sam for God. This is Mark. Check her out. So hi guys, how are you doing? Today I thought I'd do a little lounge fly haul because ever since lockdown happened back in like March I've been sucked into the world of lounge fly and I blame Facebook groups, I really do. All the lounge fly bags and love that I'd managed to resist for the past few years, suddenly I'm like I want them all. I want to get them. It's so annoying. It's, it's really bad actually. However, I have bought quite a lot of lounge fly bags in the past few months and I thought I'd show some of them to you. I've got five with me today and they're some of my favourites actually. They're basically all brand new, never been used because like I said, they're some of the more recent ones that I've bought and also because I haven't really been anywhere. And when I say anywhere, I don't just mean like Disneyland. I've not really been anywhere outside much to require. <laughs> to use these bags recently because of this whole pandemic and everything but hopefully eventually I'll be able to use them all and before I do that I thought I'd show them to you whilst they're brand new um, I've got them all here with me and we're gonna go one by one I'm very excited the first one I'm gonna show you is one that you might not actually expect me to buy but I fell in love with it more or less straight away and I see pictures of it everywhere online and it would keep staring at me and it would tell me that I need to get it and I would try to resist but then eventually after about a month or two I was like nah I want this I really do want this and this is the bag now this as you can see is a lovely stitch bag i don't know when this came out but i think it's quite rare and not very easy to find these days i bought this a couple of months ago i want to say and i found it very randomly on a website i can't even remember where it was but i think what pushed me to finally get it was because i'd wanted it for so long and i was like arming and eyeing about it and then i couldn't get it like it was hard to find and then suddenly it appeared and i was like this is my chance i might as well just go for it and if i don't like it i can sell it but then it came and i think it looks even better in person so um there you go as you can see this is a beautiful stitch lounge ply backpack it's got a sketchy kind of uh, cartoon of stitch on the front and he's reading a book and all the ducklings are around him i just think that's the image that i fell in love with it's such a cute picture of stitch and stitch is a cute character like don't get me wrong i'm not the biggest stitch fan i don't understand the obsession with stitch but he is quite cute and really funny as well when you meet him in the park so yeah i love the image a lot and i really also enjoyed the fact that it's got like a blue outline the whole bag you guys know who's my favorite color and i just loved the colors of this bag like i like the fact that it's kind of white and it fades i don't know if you can see it fades to like a uh, light blue on the side and then obviously the outline is dark blue. The zip here is um, silver, which I like as well. And then the inside actually, I don't know how well you can see it, but the lining inside the bag, which I would imagine would be the same in the actual big pocket as well, is just little ducklings, outlines of them, which is very, very cute. It's a nice pocket as well. Um, there's the Loungefly logo, Disney Loungefly, blue and silver, very nice colours. And then you've got pockets um, on the side here as well, just like nice pockets here, another pocket here. And then the actual um, backpack, let's open up the zip. I don't think I've actually done this yet. Oh no, I have, because I've taken out all the newspapers in it. When you buy large fly bags, normally there's like a lot of stuff in it, obviously to protect the bags from like getting squished, but I've already taken out, so I must have already looked at it when it first arrived. But yeah, there you go. This is the inside, the same uh, lining as the, there's the small pocket on the front, just some ducklings very very sweet i love the color honestly more than anything and i think um this is like uh, on the slightly bigger side of lounge fly backpack most lounge fly backpacks are pretty small um not like a bad size they're a decent size but this one and i'll show i'll do a comparison in a second when i show you some of the other ones this one feels a little bit just a little bit bigger than the average uh, lounge fly mini backpack but yeah this is it i really enjoy it i love the colors like i said oh, i need to show you the back as well there you go the uh, straps are blue, dark blue, the same as the lining outline situation, not lining, the outline. And then the hook here is also blue. And obviously, as you can see, the tags are still here because I haven't used it yet. But, oh, I think I might have actually bought this. Yeah, I bought this straight from Box Launch in America. $64.90 it was because the price tag is still here. And yeah, that's how I managed to obtain this bag. But I have no regrets. I enjoy it a lot. I feel like it's the kind of bag that I can use anywhere as well because it's not overly Disney. Like, it's just kind of cute. Next bag I have here with me is the opposite of Subtle and it's this Bing Bong bag. <laughs> 
Look how cool this is, guys. Now, this I actually bought from Truffle Shuffle, the website, uh, as soon as it arrived. Like, you can put notifications on that website to, like, let you know when something becomes available. And literally, as soon as, you know, it became available, I got an email and bought it straight away because I knew I wanted it really badly. Um, Bing Bong is from one of my favourite Pixar films of all time, Inside Out. He's such a lovely character. His message in the film, like, everything he stands for, what happens to him without giving too much away. It's just all so special. And I really enjoyed the design of this bag so um this one here has a fluffy texture for bing bong's like fur i guess uh which is really fun really really fun you've got the bow tie here and it's an actual bow tie um 3d and you've got his little hat very cute you've got the um flower situation here as well his jacket there's an actual button here as well honestly like the details on this bag are phenomenal and then the bottom here as well and the logo the launch light logo for this one um is actually on the bottom let me make sure it focuses there you go and this one says pixar lounge fly because you know inside out is a pixar film i know disney has definitely bought pixar they work together but it's still pixar and i really like that um and then you still have the pockets on the sides same as the stitch one just obviously different design uh, you have no pockets on the front though so just a plain like you know not plain but you know what i mean there's no uh, smaller pockets which is fine by me if you can hear some noises in the background by the way i'm really sorry i don't know what's going on outside today my windows aren't even open but yet you can still hear a lot of noise i mean london anyway let me show you the back as well because i really enjoy the straps for this so as you can see they're kind of like yellow orangey which matches the, the front bottom bit of the bag as well really really cute and um i don't think i've opened this yet so i'm actually not sure what the lining's gonna be yeah there you go as you can see because i haven't opened this yet you do get the little like paper stuff to make sure it stays nice oh my god it's so cute look at the lining guys look how cute it is it's all the like candies and sweets and it's everything that bing bong likes oh I love it. That is adorable. This bag is honestly worth it just for the lining inside. And you obviously with most lounge pad bags, you get like a like an inside pocket as well. Uh, it's very small. I don't even know if you can see it. It's just a tiny pocket in there. Uh, you can probably put like, I don't know, your card or something like that. Something small, a bit of change if you want. But yeah, there you go. This actually, when I was when I said earlier about how most lounge pad bags are quite small, this one is the same size, I believe as the stitch one so this one doesn't really show my theory very well i mean to be fair actually the stitch one still seems to be a little bit bigger but still these two backpacks are quite similar in size the regular like the, the average size of the mini backpack is a little bit smaller than these so just so you guys can see like a comparison of how big they are compared to my face they're bigger than my face which is good next we have a lounge fly bag that's been around for a while at least since march like since i first became an avid fan of lounge fly and i've been like keeping up to date with the news of like what's released and everything it's been out since i believe and i've wanted it ever since i saw a picture of it um and i finally bought it a few weeks ago and it arrived and um this is what this one looks like so let me just close it for you this as you might be able to tell is Miko from Pocahontas, my favorite Disney film of all time. And it's got sunflowers on it as well. So it's like basically just a plain white background with Miko on it and different expressions, sunflowers and some autumnal leaves, which is cute as well. I love autumn, it's my favorite season. And that's kind of it. Uh, Large fly fans call these bags placement bags because it's all about placement. Like it's like a certain print and it's just like located all around the bag. So um, they're different to like, you know, the Bing Bong one was like actually like Bing Bong, if you know what I mean. And then the stitch had a picture of this just one, whereas this one is just like, printed all over it i'm not normally the biggest fan of location bags because if you get a bad location it's just not going to be as cute as if you get a great one if you know what i mean and it's hard to pick when you buy them online obviously but with this one i didn't really care because i loved everything like i loved every single version of miko so i didn't really mind like what i would get if that makes sense but yeah this one's uh different to the other ones in the sense that the straps let me show you the back are a little bit thinner than the other two uh they're gray um, and then uh, the actual lounge fly logo as well, let me show it to you, um, is not like metallic like the other two. It's just like, I don't know what the material is, but it's like a, I guess a fake leathery print vibe situation. It says Disney lounge fly on it. So instead of the metallic vibe, it's just um, like, yeah, 
uh, fake leather or whatever. Some people don't like that. I'm not the biggest fan of it either. Normally, I prefer the large light bags that have a metallic logo, but this one, I didn't really mind because I love the actual, like, bag so much. And the zips for this one as well are, like, this, I guess, bronzy colour, which I think is really nice, like, very autumnal again. Um, the inside, I have... Oh, yeah, it's just, it's just plain black, so some people might find this disappointing because a lot of lounge fly fans, um, you know, buy them for the lining inside as well. This one just has a very plain black um, lining inside, but I don't really mind. It's got the pocket here as well, except with no zips, like the little pockets that I told you about. But yeah, I don't mind. Like I said, I love the, the outside of this so much. I just, I feel like, again, this is the kind of bag that I can wear whenever. It's not too extremely Disney-fied. Not that that's a problem anyway. And then that's the small pocket at the front as well. I like the size of the pocket. I think it's just, I think it's nice. I feel like also because this doesn't feel like as maybe high quality as the other two bags that I've shown you so far, I don't mind as much if it gets dirty or like if I use it constantly or it gets wear or whatever. Not that I'm saying I'm not going to use the other ones, but you know what I mean? Like this feels more like an everyday bag than the other two. Then we've got another bag that I was very excited about when I saw it. And this I got from Truffle Shuffle as soon as it came out again. And I was so excited about it and I am not disappointed. Um, this is the alien bag. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, Lord have mercy. I've not actually properly looked into this myself yet because it only arrived like about a week ago. So the aliens from Toy Story have been a massive deal for the past few months, just all across Disney. Disney has been releasing a lot of alien related stuff, which is very cute as a big Toy Story fan. I appreciate that. But yeah, one thing that I didn't expect, but I, you know, once I saw, I realized I really needed it in my life was this bag. So it's a red lounge fly bag. I'm trying to show it to you as best as I can. And then it's got the, <laughs> the little aliens and the like little windows, the circular windows. But they're all dressed as different Pixar characters, which is so cute. You've even got like Arla from the big dinosaur, um, the guy from Up, uh, Wally. I mean, literally so many of the Merida's there. Is that Bo Peep? Yeah. It is so, so cute. Like, I think that's the cutest idea that Disney and Pixar and like Loungefly, I guess, have ever come up with. There's a lot of pop fungos with these alien designs for sale as well. And I've bought quite a few of them, obviously. So yeah, I like it. It's a plasticky feel on the bits. And then you've got a pocket as well on the front. Let me, oh, let me show that to you. Oh my God, the lining in this is actually really cool. I can't show it to you very well on the small front pocket, but I'll show it to you in a second once I open the big bit. But I thought I'd show you the zip as well. It says rocket ship uh, crane came ready to launch. Oh, look how cute this is. Literally, it's all about the details with these lounge fly bags. I think that's so, so adorable. And then again, with most of the lounge fly bags, you've got the little side pockets on the side. Now here, and you've got the actual logo, Pixar um, lounge fly logo on the side this time for this bag. And then the hook for this bag is kind of different to the other ones. It's, it's, it's like more comfortable, I would say, because it's got these little metallic bits and it's bigger and it just feels nicer in your hands. I wish like all lounge fly backpacks use the hook like this. It's just easier to carry, a bit more practical, I would say. But yeah, uh, that's the back. Like, again, these are slightly better quality strips than the Miko one that I showed you, also thicker. And let me show you the inside. I'm excited for you guys to see the lining because it is really cool. Again, this one, as you can see, I haven't actually looked into yet. So let me get rid of some of the paper so I can show it to you properly. Can you see it? Look how cute it is. It's just got like different items uh, from different Pixar films. Like that's Sheriff's like badge, Sheriff Woody's badge. Um, really, really cute. The star, you've got the Monsters Inc. situation going on here. Up with the grape soda. I just think it's a very, very, very cute lining. This bag as a whole, I'm a massive fan of. Like, I love it. This is a bag that I will never trade, I will never sell, I will always use, and I'm very, very happy with. And finally, we get to the last backpack that I saw in Walt Disney World back in February when I was there. I'm pretty sure I saw it when it first came out because it's from the ink and paint range, and that range came out whilst I was in Disney World, and I saw it all. I even vlogged some of it. So check out my Walt Disney World vlogs if you haven't from February 2020. But yeah, back then I was trying to be a very good girl and I only bought one lounge fly bag from my Disney World trip. And at that point, that was only my third ever lounge fly, just like generally. And now I've got like 
30 or something but yeah i didn't buy this lounge fly bag when i was there i got another one i got a pixar one and then it became very rare suddenly like it's a very sought after bag it's one that's pretty hard to find these days it's very popular everyone wants it as did i obviously and i had to look hard and everywhere to try and find it i regretted it so much that i never bought it when i could have bought it easily back when i was like i said in florida but eventually i managed to find it on ebay a couple of months ago at a good price like a decent price bought it and it arrived and i am so 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 happy with this like look at this so as you guys can see this is a saucer and mickey bag saucer and mickey as you guys know is my favorite mickey if you know what i mean like he's my favorite outfit that mickey wears i love his hat his saucer hat with the stars the blueness and everything i just love it i love fantasia as well the film and i just think this is such a cute bag a very out there bag don't get me wrong i feel like this is more of a disney parks bag like i personally probably wouldn't wear it much when i'm just going out and about in london not because i'm ashamed of it i just feel like i'd want to save it for special occasions like when I'm in the parks because I feel like Mickey would probably enjoy seeing me with it as well if I got to meet Mickey or anything but yeah um so he's got his cute little face very cute his ears are on the front here you've got his hat very sweet oh, he's so cute and then the lounge fly um logo is here on the front Disney parks it actually says Disney parks oh wow that's cool Disney parks lounge fly so I'm guessing this is the parks ex exclusive one um and then you do have a front pocket which i'll show it to you in a sec there you go so um this is the front pocket it's very small again i'll show you the lining properly from the big pocket but it's a very small pocket i personally don't think i could fit too much on the front pocket anyway um also it's like i wouldn't feel too safe putting anything important in there but maybe like i don't know tickets or something that i don't know you don't care too much about like it's not the end of the world if you do lose it but i just wanted to show you the zip as well because i think the zip is so so cute can you see the zip guys look at that it's an actual paintbrush i mean obviously not an actual paintbrush but it's in the shape of a paintbrush with blue paint oh my god i can't deal with this and it's the same here uh, this one's again blue paint i believe just a slightly bigger paintbrush for the main zip here it is so so cute you do have the pockets on the side again but yeah let me open this up and show you the lining inside because i think you guys are gonna like it so this is <laughs> the lining inside this saucer and mickey bag it's the ink and paint lining so funnily enough i actually have the spirit jersey with this like print on it that i got from walt disney world in february um there were so many great things from this range that i liked and i ended up just buying a spirit jersey from it i didn't buy this but now i do have this as well which i'm very happy about but yeah there it is i guess i don't really know what else to say in terms of sizing as you can see these two bags the mickey and the miko one are very much the same kind of size from all angles and that's what i meant most of the mini backpacks that lounge fly release are this size and then some of them end up being just a little bit bigger like tiny bit bigger not like a noticeable difference but just a little bit taller maybe like this um uh, bing bong one and i think normally the taller ones tend to be the ones that don't have a front pocket so this one doesn't have a front pocket and obviously this one does and so does the miko one but yeah that is ooh, that is the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it like i said lounge fly can be addicting and i don't recommend being like me and just buying so many i'm honestly like running out of space and i don't know what to do with them but i am excited to wear them one day when i get to go to the parks and the good thing about lounge fly bags is that they're very resellable as well so if you keep them nice and in good condition you can easily resell them in the future if you want to because you know everyone loves lounge fly at the moment but yeah thank you for watching as always if you would like me to let me know in one day maybe closer to the end of the year i will do like a full-on lounge fly collection video of all the lounge fly bags that i have and most of them accumulated throughout lockdown thank you for watching though leave a comment down below and let me know which of the five that i showed you was your favorite or any comments or any questions that you have and i'll see you in the next video bye